I, uh, trust you to honor our agreement. Only employees of Deimos Staryard's mining division are authorized... Look, I got a ransom note. It was analyzed, and Crimson Fleet is the best bet. Everything fits their profile. I'm not gonna sit here and instruct you on the intricacies of piracy in the settled systems. I just need you to trust me and do the job I asked of you. Well, I've been appointed governor, what, going on 20 years now, I believe. Every day, I am passionate about serving the hard-working people of Mars. I look out for their interests, I support their prosperity, and in return, they help make the United Colonies a shining beacon of hope for humanity. If you ask me, there's nothing better than that. You mean besides being the most important city of industry to our proliferation across the galaxy? Well. This is the home of Demo Star Yards, which perfected grav drive technology and made honest to goodness space travel truly possible. And to this day, our mines and manufacturing are instrumental in delivering resources used throughout the United Colonies. We may not outshine fancier cities like New Atlantis on its surface, but without Sidonia, there would be no United Colonies. Sidonia's not much of a tourist destination, unless you're interested in humanity's first major colony outside of Earth. But if you're not here for work, and you're looking to kill some time, I'm uh, told the Martian surface is great for hiking. Beautiful scenery, assuming you like shades of red. If you're looking to kick back after that and experience Martian nightlife, the Broken Spear is as good a local watering hole as any. Considering I don't really know you, I'm not sure how to answer that. But Sidonia is a beacon of industry. There's plenty of work to go around. If you have mining experience, you may wish to check with whoever the current Deimos mining director is. Or maybe check with the Deimos Staryard corporate office. If those aren't your speed, then there are a number of local businesses that are always looking for help. I'm not asking you to understand my reasons for this. I'm asking you to do a job, and in exchange, I'll give you what you want. And in my generosity, I also won't be reporting you to your superiors or hauling you off to jail for your fraudulent activities. I assume you understand that much. Enjoy Sidonia. My buddy Mitch keeps asking if I can help. Peter's not too much trouble. He can be a bit... much. You're going undercover as Peter Brennan's assistant in order to gain access to his computer and approve my request for new mining equipment. I know it seems like a lot of work, but I've just about given up on it otherwise. The guy doesn't talk to me and is useless without his assistant. If not for you, this might never get done. Nah, not at all. Peter's clueless. He probably hasn't even noticed his last assistant has moved on. And Tia and the rest of them up there, they're so overworked, they'll just be happy to see a new face around. Worst case, they fire you and move on. Then we come up with a new plan. Don't forget, I'm here if you need anything. Don't be caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. All outside surface activities require the use of a certified safety seat. Say anything. One more system. 
It is good to see someone out here. I've been drifting alone here for two days without help. Wait. You on the account? All right. Come on, board. I hope you've got some extra ship parts for repairs, because we're going to need it. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. your backs. Their crew could be heavily armed. So, you're a pirate? Please. We know you're not really with the fleet. Word of advice? Learn the lingo before you attempt anything so stupid again. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Or... We dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. Hmm. You seem pretty sure of that. Seems reasonable. I'll think about it. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? Come on, you really need me to spell it out for you? Hers is a politician. Politicians are susceptible to blackmail. Or if you really want to see fireworks on Mars, I'm sure there is someone in a position of authority in Sidonia that you could turn that into as evidence of corruption. Not like it's going to paint a target on our backs any bigger than we already have. It's sure to stop trouble for local politics. Seems like a win to me. Smart choice. Now, I suggest leaving before our reinforcements show up. I can't guarantee they'll be as accommodating as we are. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore.
zigzag, I zag. I am your sight, your shadow, your tail. <laughs> Ah, I cherish these visits to the forgotten corners of the United Colonies. Ever been to Aquila? Those security uniforms are... I sure hope you've taken care of our little... Problem. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? Oh, the fact that we helped this imbecile worm his way out of the situation. Makes me sick. Hmm. I see how it is. Tell you what. Say you really do have this alleged note, and we're thinking of using it against me. If you're so inclined, I'll take it off your hands instead, and compensate you far more than releasing Mr. Brennan's shipment of goods. Then you and I part ways and never speak of this again. Do we have an understanding? Come on, don't make me have to explain it to you. 
private security leaves a paper trail. Obviously, that's not a good look, so I had to go where that's not a concern. Hence the pirates, hence you. Got it? No, about that note. That's what I thought. You don't have anything. You can either put up or shut up now. Either way, my patience is growing thin, and you wouldn't want to risk losing that shipment now, would you? Great, just great. <sighs> okay, look, I'm sure you did your best. But since you didn't hold up your end of our deal, I won't give you what you want unless you financially compensate me for wasting my time. It's good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our... Have you given more thought to resolving? Of course not. We don't use the B word here. No. This is a contribution. In turn, this money will benefit all of Sidonia. Peter's not too much trouble. See you around. Did you do that? Mining must be a fun job. Oh. You're done. Welcome back. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. Let's see. Uh, I know there's something I need you to do for me. My shipment. Do you have it yet? Ah, yes. I'll take that. Now, um... I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Have a good one.
wonder what's taking. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up and it doesn't seem good. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? Hank's been a difficult employee, to be honest. More interested in showing off than doing good work. He's aggressive. He starts shit with the other employees. He's often late for work and so on. So this came up and I figured, maybe he's trying to turn things around. Even though I was reluctant, I wanted to give him a chance. Now I'm questioning if it was a good idea. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so, and scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you.
Taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Ugh, don't know. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Hey, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But he's been surly as of late and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. All citizens are welcome and encouraged to make use of the Sidonian Community Centre on the mid-level for activities of all sorts. Seek a Community Centre representative to plan your event or regular gathering today. that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I don't want to talk about myself. What? Standing around, pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Oh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Do it yourself. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment, the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. No, maybe. I don't know. You know what? 
cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Yeah, yeah. I'm not an idiot. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. If it's any consolation, I don't trust this man either. I'll keep an eye on him. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. 
probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be this way. I just... I felt like I got no other choice. You know? Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I look like a hero. If you ask me, maybe it's not crazy enough. What do I care about any of them? Burn it all to the ground for all I care. Sorry, but I gotta do this my way. And that means you need to die.
I wish there was more I could do for you. Hey, I hope you get to the bottom of your problem. Looking forward to hearing all about this. Any luck? Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Thanks. If you're still looking to help us out, maybe check with Rivka. She seems to be having a rough go as of late. When I get older, I'm gonna work in the mines like my dad did, so I can save up and buy my mom a house somewhere nice. Do you wanna hear the song I just made up? I'm a bunny, you're a bunny, he's a bunny, ha! Well, hey there. Rise and shine. You've got things to do. Please use the authorized way to leave. 